ho, ho, Oilers. I'm Nathan Coffey, and this is Campus Update. We bring this episode to you live from the Death Star, or what's left of it. Just this past week on the 10th and the 11th, APA and the Color Guard team showcased their talent at the annual Sounds of the Season. During the show, we asked audience members what they thought of the performance, and this is what they had to say. Honestly, this is one of my favorite shows of the year. I think it's just so lively and it's so amazing and all of the kids together in one place is that's actually really fun. It's really entertaining. The show really gets me into the Christmas spirit and I think it's a lot of fun seeing like classmates and stuff up there performing. So far my favorite part of the show was when MMET Pop came out and sang Little Saint Nick. I thought it was really good. I love the Charlie, the Charlie Brown production. That was, it was funny, but it was musical and, and it was great. I liked all of it. I liked the drum line, the kids on the drum line. Uh, I like, I like the instrumentals. I, cause I, my favorite is just when there's a group up there singing. Everybody who plays instruments on stage and everybody who sings is on stage, and I'm really happy to see that. The music and the students. This is so many people, I don't want to tell the fire marshal. Excellent job to everybody involved in Sounds of the Season. As you can see, the audience loved the show, and for good reason, too. Our campus offers a wide variety of clubs. This time around, we're settling our sights on a sci-fi club in a galaxy not so far, far away. This is Sci-Fi Club, the greatest club in the universe. At Sci-Fi Club, we have uh, discussions, debates, we play games. Outside of uh, the club itself, we're going to have movie nights and... LARPing. L LARPing. And live we're action role play, in case you don't know. Live action role play. We're going to have lightsaber battles. We just did a game where someone won a poster. It was pretty fun. We'll have a talk about the latest sci-fi news in film or TV, like watch trailers, talk about like new casting. Every Tuesday during lunch in Socks Room, which is B9. So, yeah. We have B9. B9. Be there. B9. Make sure to stop on by and get involved with some of that Star Wars hype. That being said, a splendor of Star Wars related films and games are releasing throughout this year and the next. Nerdward returns to announce these exciting new entries to the franchise. Welcome Oilers to this Nerdward special. As you may know, Disney purchased the rights for Star Wars from LucasArts and is now developing a brand new series of movies set in the Star Wars universe beginning with Episode 7, The Force Awakens. What you may not know is that they plan on having a new movie every year, including a spin-off series of independent stories called the Star Wars Anthology, starting with Rogue One, a story set between Episode 3 and 4, centered around a group of rebel fighters trying to steal plans from the Death Star. I think we know how that goes. Any Bothans died to bring us this information. Were you planning to celebrate Christmas by watching Star Wars on release day? Well, the studio has moved the release to December 18th instead of Christmas Day, so don't throw those trees out just yet. In similar news, Star Wars Battlefront was released with not-so-positive reviews from both critics and players alike, reporting to have balancing issues and unimaginative gameplay. I guess we'll never get our Battlefront 2. Thanks for watching Nerd World Oilers. I'm Bryce, and may the Force be with you. After all the Star Wars hype, the Imperial March is bound to be stuck in our heads. Speaking of marching, Here's a quick recap on APA's involvement in the Seal Beach Christmas Parade. This year marked the 37th year of the Seal Beach Christmas Parade. This old town tradition featured more than 100 entries and as many as 3,500 parade participants. The continuous motion parade included marching bands, dancing groups, and youth groups, including our very own APA program. The parade runs the entire length of Main Street from the pier to Pacific Coast Highway. With Christmas just around the corner, the best way to get into the holiday spirit is to up up a fresh batch of cookies for Santa. 
But let's ignore Kris Kringle's appetite and go to finding the best way to snack this season. Hey Oilers, with Christmas coming around the corner, we're always looking for new and exciting things to bake this holiday season. Sugar cookies can be great, but they can always take so long to make. Today, I'm going to show you how to make one of my favorite holiday treats, cake in a mug. From everyone here at Campus Update, we wish you a very festive and force-filled Christmas break. This is Nathan Coffey signing off. And remember, Jar Jar did nothing wrong. Greeting cards have all been sent The Christmas rushes through I still have one wish to make A special one for you Merry Christmas, darling We're apart, that's true But I can dream Shine.